Now the simplest way to measure the Young modulus is to have a horizontal piece of wire, you load the end and then you look at the extension and you might measure that with a ruler. The difficulty with that method though is that you can only really measure to the nearest millimetre, which means you have quite a high absolute uncertainty, and the extensions of the wires are quite small even when they're heavily loaded. This mechanism overcomes that because we have a different way of measuring the extension. This is called Searle's apparatus. We have two vertical wires that are fixed into a secure point on the ceiling. We've got a load which is equal on both of them, and this is just going to keep the wires under tension. And what we can then do is we can apply a force just to this wire over here. Now at the moment, we've got this kind of small bar that's completely horizontal and we've got a small bubble at the very top. There's this kind of spirit level in the very top and we can see that there's a bubble that's in the centre and we can adjust it using the dial here. So at the moment, with an equal load on both wires, that bar is horizontal. If I was to load up this wire, and I'm going to be using 10 newtons here, so a good substantial uh, force which is being applied to it, we can't really easily see the extension of one wire relative to the other, but if we look at the top, I can actually see that the bubble has moved position. And when I'm doing this experiment, I need to be really careful that I'm wearing eye protection, because if the wire were to snap, there's a lot of energy stored there, and if that was to flick around, it could really damage my eye. And also, I'm being very careful not to have my feet underneath the, the masses, because if the wire were to snap and these were to fall to the ground, that could cause me some damage. So I've actually put some cushioning down there as well, in case these were to fall. But I'm just going to very carefully look, and I can see that that uh, bubble isn't in the centre. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this dial, and as I screw this up, it's going to make that horizontal or well, the beam over here become horizontal. So I've just made a small adjustment. The bubble is in the centre, and now the height that this screw has gone through is equal to the extension of the wire when we loaded it. Now, depending on the equipment that your school might have, sometimes you have a vernier scale, the kind of thing you might see on a micrometer, and that means that as one side gets longer, we can measure that very small extension. This one is slightly different. I've got a vertical scale on the side, and I've got another scale that goes around the edge of this screw. Now, when I screw this in by one millimetre, it goes through a rotation of 360 degrees, and around the circumference, we've got 100 individual markings. And that means if I go through one marking, it's gone through a hundredth of a millimetre in vertical height. And by reading the initial value, noting that down, loading this up, making the change to make that horizontal again, we can see how many markings we've gone through, and therefore we can actually measure the extension to the nearest 0 0.01 of a millimetre. So probably about a hundred times better than just looking at the extension next to a ruler. So this is really good if we're measuring things like steel, and if we want to find out the young modulus of a material like that, because if you tried doing that horizontally, the extension would be so small that you wouldn't be able to see it. So we can look at things which have a very high value of Young's modulus. We can also use thicker bits of wire, and it's just a different approach, but using the same physics to work out the Young modulus of the material. And of course, I've got another video where I went through this in a bit more detail. But effectively, if you know the mass that you're applying, you can measure the extension, and then as long as you know the original length of the wire and the diameter of the wire, you can use that with some data plotted on the graph to work out the value of Young's modulus for that material. And if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can find my other videos about Young Modulus and the other practical experiments for A-Level Physics over at alevelphysicsonline.com. You can also download this sheet where I have the theory behind this experiment, different approaches, and a load of extra guidance for you to use as you're preparing for your exams.